And it is haunted house season, but because of COVID-19, a lot of the houses won't be open this year. That includes a special haunted house done by a local family. Edward Thompson is a cancer survivor, and every year his haunted house raises money to help other families with a sick child. This is video from last year. I remember his story <laughs> only on CBS 17. Maggie Newland shows us the changes he made to still make it a haunted Halloween celebration. <laughs> Witches, spiders, and skeletons make up a scary scene you can see from a distance. <laughs> Edward Thompson and his family have done everything from a distance since the pandemic started. This is one of the first times that I've actually seen a human face, not through a camera or a screen. And he is high risk for COVID. Which means a big change to his Halloween plans. Every year, he looks forward to creating a haunted house, a tradition that started after his cancer diagnosis in 2017. It's one of the things that keeps me going. It's a uh, great motivation. But now, inviting people inside isn't safe. He was pretty sad. Until Edward, who once drew haunted house plans from his hospital bed, realized he and his family could still create something special. We have bought a lot of new stuff for the haunted yard. It's so much fun just for me, but also for the community, and it's a great way to give back. They're collecting donations for Make-A-Wish, the organization that sent Edward to Disney World after his treatment. At my Make-A-Wish, it felt like you were being yourself, it felt like you were free. It felt like you were happy. It was, dumb. it's amazing. To have that joy and the hope and the memories, it's extremely important. They know not everyone who drives by can donate. It's a hard year. But they hope their spooky scene will bring some Halloween fun to the community, whether a scream or a smile. It's just a heartwarming feeling to see that it's still doing what it was designed to do. It's still giving people happiness. Edward is in remission now, but hasn't forgotten how all this started. This is actually the mask he used to wear for radiation treatments. If you'd like to see the haunted yard, we have all the details of where and when on our website, CBS17.com. In Raleigh, Maggie Newland, CBS17 News.